So when you're in the home screen, you will notice that there are five menu items at the bottom. The left one gets you back to the home screen. The second one from the left gets you into your activities, your history, and you can scroll through all your rides. And if you want to do a closer inspection, you hit one of those rides and you can see all the details of that ride, right? Going back to the history main screen by tapping the history button at the bottom. Then this center plus is a cool feature because it, that way you can start your training. So if I now hit start training, it starts my stopwatch and I can start cycling on my true bike. And then when I'm done, I can finish my training. It stops the stopwatch and um, I can either save my workout or uh, do whatever I want to do. The fourth button is your personal user settings. So you can edit your profile, you can edit your weight, your length, your uh, maximum BPM. You can change your email, your password, and you can also manage the connected accounts for bikes that you own. And you can also remove or add heart rate monitors the way we just did. If I now go into my heart rate monitors, you will see that the one that I connect, just connected is in this list, but as you can see, I am the proud owner of many other heart rate monitors. And then finally, information about the app, which has a cool feature, which is the frequently asked questions, where if you're stuck with something on the true bike, you can go there and find answers. You're redirected to the website and you're fi you'll find answers on many different topics like the true kinetic software, um, true kinetics hardware and all these things. When you're done with your frequently asked questions, you hit the done button at the top, you're back in the app, and you can go back to the home screen.